Okay, at some point I will do a better demo with the nice fancy studio, but I think it's more important to get this stuff out. So uh, this is the frame when it's all complete. And what you do is uh, you're going to need to adjust this curve based upon your profile in this direction. So I'm just going to bend this one and fit it to my face. Obviously, you can do um, a more detailed job of this on your own, but this is this is pretty close. I also think you could probably put a little piece of um, weather stripping foam on this area just to make it a little bit softer up against the face if you don't have as much uh, padding as I do, uh, but also to help with that seal. I, I don't have any, so bear with me. So this sits on your nose, just similar to the way that a uh, you know the pinch the the metal piece that goes on a lot of the fabric masks, and then this piece, you know, you can kind of curve it to match the curve of your cheeks a little bit. And then this part, this elastic opposes, you know, the, it, it's one continuous loop. So you can make adjustments. When you stretch the elastic, it narrows the diameter of the elastic. So that way you can raise it up and down um, and get a comfortable fit. But what's nice about the elastic is It'll hold whatever material right up against your face, but still allow you to speak and roll your mouth. <laughs> um, and then on this side, this is the other adjustment. So again, if it's too tight, I just stretch it and slide it up and down. Um, I was thinking, you know, once you fit the frame to your own face, you're going to want to, um, you know, after you clean it, make sure you get yours back. So I was thinking, you know, even some pony beads <laughs> uh, here with like in color coding it um, would make it easier to you know, find your, your frame again. But what happens is after you've got the frame fit to your face, you can either, you know, this is a, a fabric surgical mask, but you'll get the idea. So this has got a pretty decent fit already, um, just for a cloth mask. Uh, obviously if you had a, there's no nose bridge in this one at the moment. Um, but if you take the frame and place it on top. So here's the amount of <laughs> movement the fabric has without, because I am getting some leakage up against the top over here. I've got a pretty good seal on this and a little bit of puckering down at the bottom. But with this on top, you can see how it's really pulling that up against my face. The elastic underneath holding it right up against my, uh, my chin. So it's much better suction or much, much better uh, seal up against the, the skin on my face. But now, um, you know, in situations where you, um, you know, need a little bit better filtration than just a cloth mask, the hope is that the seal is such that you can take a piece of halyard and, and I apologize, I don't know which side is front and back, so don't make fun of me. Um, but if I take just the loose piece of halyard, and this is a nine by nine, uh, square. A lot of the cloth masks are like eight inches wide, so I figured nine would be a good place to start. And plus, if you divide out the um, the halyard sheets, you can get a nine inch square. I'll, I'll do the math and figure out how many you can get out of a single sheet. But if you line up the halyard, maybe about an inch and a half or so from the top, press it against your nose, run the elastic up over your head, down under your chin, and then fold the top down, you've got an instant mask. And this is very breathable. You know, it might be, woo! <laughs> might have to adjust some of the puckering to make sure they don't have any, um, you know, this is an opportunity here for some leakage, but I think with some finagling, um, that'd do pretty quickly, so.